Well, almost 44 million Americans have already cast their vote. How are they voting? Well, trends appear to be emerging. At least in Arizona, they are anyway. We bring up these figures now. Almost 1.3 million Arizonans have already cast their vote. And there's the trend there. Registered Democrats, half a million. Registered Republicans, more than half a million. To break this down now, I'm joined by Jim Ninsel, who's the political reporter for the Tucson Sentinel. Jim, um, thanks for your time this morning. Absolutely. How do you read into that early voting but mostly by registered Republicans. Well, you also have a lot of registered independents, and we don't know which way they're going. They're turning out at a lower level, percentage-wise, than the Democrats and the Republicans. But it's neck and neck in Arizona. We, we, we're looking at those polls, and it is 49-49 and within the margin of error. So we just don't know which way it's going to go. So Arizona, it used to be a fairly reliable Republican state. It's only gone to the Democrats twice since the 1970s. You might be helping out. The 1940s. Since, since, since the I, 1940s. Yeah. So, so what's allowed the Democrats in? Well, I think uh, at this point, there is a lot of crossover vote among uh, disaffected Republicans who just don't like the message that uh, Donald Trump is sending. He's uh, gone after uh, one of our favorite sons, John McCain, yeah. on any number of occasions. And I, it's, so that's still it's, a factor, even though John McCain's passed. Yes. It's still a yeah, factor. Yeah, yeah. I think there's a lot of people who, who, who care deeply about John McCain, who thought he was a a uh, very good senator for the state of Arizona, and they don't like the, the attitude mm. that Donald Trump has about him. Okay, let's break down a couple of um, issues. Uh, what, what are the issues that will basically decide it for Arizona? I think uh, the Democratic side abortion is, remains a really important issue. We do have an abortion question on the ballot mm. for the voters to decide, and so that's going to bring out a lot of Ds who care deeply about that issue. On the other side of the issue, there's a question about immigration on the uh, ballot, mm. and immigration is something that is definitely lighting up the supporters of Donald Trump. So you've got two different things going on. There. So, OK, so on the topic of abortion, it's, it's to push out the age, isn't it, uh, the age, the time, from 15 weeks out to 24. Will that yeah, be there's successful? No, there's nothing... It, it's probably going to pass. There's no specific weeks in there. It's about viability. Yeah. So that if medical... Viability is around 24 weeks. Exactly. Right. So uh, they wanted to avoid that particular thing and just say viability. So, uh, yeah, that will... Uh, I, I, it probably has a very good, strong chance of okay. passing. And, but the top issue, immigration, the illegals crossing the border, there's a law in that uh, basically making it a crime if you cross in an area that isn't an official port. Making it a state crime and you could then be arrested by a state uh, law officer as opposed to the federal law officers who are right. traditionally in charge of So it. I would have thought that that would have already been in play here. Well, it's, it's, uh, they, there was an attempt at that years ago and it got basically dismantled by the super, uh, Supreme Court because it's a federal yeah. Issue that the state's not supposed to be engaged in the uh, engaged yeah, in and, the, and that's the enforcement of. some of the criticism, isn't it, too, from at least local enforcement, is that well, there aren't enough police, there aren't enough state resources to be able to deal with that influx. Yeah, they, it's got to be a federal problem. Yeah, they've got a lot on their plates already, and they don't need that additional responsibility of arresting somebody. And then, you know, it, it, there is really no no existing legal way to. Yeah deport somebody via the state. Mm. It has to be done by the federal government, so it's, okay. it's, a, it's a mess. Let's just close on, uh, on the issue. Uh, who is going to be the next president? How's, how's that race shaking down here in a state like Arizona? We are not going to know until days after the election because it takes a certain amount of time to check what are called early ballots. This is in Arizona. In Arizona, you have to check a signature on them. So they're going to be counting ballots for a week after the election. So it's we're, we're not going to know. But I do know that both teams have brought an amazing number of surrogates to the town. The vice president has been here. The, Tim Waltz has been here. Donald Trump has been here. J.D. Vance has been here. Obama has been here. We have never seen this kind of attention on Arizona before, wow. and that builds enthusiasm among your volunteers. So what do you think that is? That it could well come down to this? It could well come down to all these folks coming out here and urging people to get out and vote and to volunteer and, and driving that ground game and the turnout game. You got a, a thought on who, who you think nicks it in the end? Uh, I don't. You don't? I, I think okay. you can flip a coin at this point. <laughs> Jim, appreciate your time. Thanks for your insights this morning. Thank you so much for joining us.